And good morning, everybody. Silas here again today, and I've got something interesting. I have never filmed this before. I take that back. I did film it one time when I very, very first started my channel. It was one of the first videos I ever recorded, probably the fourth or fifth video. But uh, unfortunately, I was still new to the whole microphone and camera thing, and I didn't have a microphone plugged in all the way. So there was no audio to that, and I didn't want to do a voiceover, so I just deleted it. But uh, other than that, I've never filmed this. This is going to be the first time I've ever posted this to YouTube. I am headed to a really cool auction with some old trucks and maybe some other stuff out in the country. It's not too far from here. I don't go to nearly as many auctions as I used to. I used to go to auctions all the time. Every couple weekends I'd be at another auction, but uh, anymore I don't need more stuff, and especially small stuff. And that's what I used to go buy with small stuff to sell on eBay and things like that, but I don't do that anymore hardly. But there's some really cool old trucks, and I'd really like to buy those. I was going to take my truck and trailer, but unfortunately my winch is messed up right now, and I don't have time to run it and exchange it and put a new one on and all that sort of stuff. I've, the auction starts in like two hours, and it's a one-hour drive almost. So uh, what I'm going to do is my dad's out of town. So I came to his house and I'm going to steal his truck. I'm not really stealing it. I'm just borrowing it. I'll bring it back tonight. He won't be back for a few days. <laughs> I did mention it to him that I was possibly going to come grab it. So anyway, I'm going to grab the keys and I'm going to hit the road. And we made it here. Let's go check it out and see what all we can find. There's quite a bit of stuff here. I'm not sure what order they're going to sell stuff in. Not a bad old square body. They said it runs, but it's just a diesel. So that really hurts this one. I've crushed a lot of these things, four wheel drive diesels. Not even a short bed, but uh, somebody might want it. This in here is cool. Old Willys. Can't remember what year they said it was. Pretty cool, but that'll probably go for more money than I want to spend. Got an old three quarter ton Chevy. Looks like about a 50 model, 4950. Somewhere around there, probably a 50. This one's in pretty good shape. Not a lot of rust. The cab corners are rotted out, but the rest of it's pretty solid. Yeah, a little bit of rust down there. They say this is supposed to run. This in here is probably the coolest truck of the sale, but I'm sure it's going to go for pretty good money. I'm supposed to bid on it for a guy, but I don't know if he'll get it or not. Check this thing out. It's in pretty good shape. No rod in it. Pretty good patina, other than it looks like they had something laying on the fender up here that took all the paint off but not too bad really it's got a small block in it got a cool visor on it this truck here is pretty neat but it's pretty rough too I like the color on it but it like I say it's really really rough that door scares me it feels like it's gonna fall when I open it there we go that's better yeah, this one's got the typical windshield rot floors are rusty a little bit not not too bad but the cab corners are rotted out. This in here isn't anything spectacular, but you never know. That might be the only one to go home with. This in here, I'm not too interested in. It's too new for me, but it is a neat truck. Got the typical rot in the fenders. They all do that. This truck here is a pretty neat one. It's got a big block in it. It's not original. Somebody's put it in there, 348. But the uh, cab is in pretty good condition. It's kind of mingled up here on the doors. But the cab itself is pretty solid. There's no rust in this cab. Rock solid above the windshield. Good steps, good cab corners. So this is one here I'm pretty interested in for the cab and the sheet metal. I'll show you guys that big block. It is a car 348. Does this truck look familiar? It looks just like the one I had a while back. It's got a big block in it. This one runs though. Mine didn't run. And mine had that hole cut in the back of the cab. But other than that, it was identical to this truck. Same color, same trim, same everything. I kind of like that bumper. That's kind of cool. It doesn't stick out so far, but yet it's got the nice wrap around. That's actually kind of cool. Old Eldorado. Kind of a neat car. These have started to pick up in popularity, but they're still pretty unpopular, really. <laughs> but you don't see them nearly as often as you used to. That used to be one of the cars we got all the time for scrap. And there's just a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of farm equipment out here. All sorts of farm equipment, combines, tractors, that sort of stuff. I've got a love-hate relationship with these dumb things. I keep buying them, but I don't know why, because they're so hard to sell. But they're just so neat looking. So hopefully these bring more than I want to spend. This place is only about 20 minutes away from my place, so it's not a big deal. Whatever I buy, it won't, won't take me long to get it home. 
But check out this old dozer. I don't feel like hauling it home, but it is neat. And it would make really good yard art. But once again, hopefully it brings more than I want to pay. It's been a while since I've had a dozer. Here about, oh, it would have been about five years ago, we cleaned up a farm. This is before I was doing YouTube. I wish I would have been doing YouTube. That was a really cool farm cleanup. But we scrapped probably six or seven of those. And a couple of them were even bigger than that. I couldn't pick them up. I had to pull them with a chain and shove them up on a Landall trailer to get them into the shredder. A couple of these combines are nice, but that one down there on the end is pretty well. It looks like just junk, scrap metal. My buddy Skyler's gonna be here, so uh, if we buy any scrap, he's gonna handle that for me. I don't wanna mess with scrap. I don't have time for it. But uh, that in there might go for scrap. It might not, I don't know. And there might be a bunch of junkers here and stuff go high anyway. But it really doesn't look like it's gonna be a long auction. I think this is about it, is what's out here in this field. They got everything lined up nice and neat. I hope they start with the trucks. But I uh, know my luck, they'll probably do those last. They'll probably start on the back row and then work their way up to the trucks. If you guys like this video and you want me to go to more auctions, let me know in the comments and like this video. If I get enough likes on this video and enough views, I will be sure to go to more auctions in the future. I'm kind of encroaching on Mr. Good Player's YouTube territory because he does a lot of auctions, but uh, you know, it's a big enough market for all of us. I don't know if he's gonna be here today or not. Kind of a bad sign. I was one of the first people here and I'm number 150. So that means a lot of people left bids on this stuff. And even while I was actually getting this number, a guy called in and left a bid on that Willys down there. So <laughs> I may not bring anything home today. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'll probably bring this one home just because I have the market for all the wall art that this thing has. And other than that, there really is no value to this one here just because it's so rough. So uh, I may bring that one home and that may be it. Kind of a neat little grain hauler trailer right here. It's missing one of the wheels. So maybe I can pick it up cheap. A little bit of stuff back here along this creek. This is real neat property. The, the Nineska River is just right over there, somewhere on the other side of those trees, or in those trees actually. I might wind up buying this van just so I can make sure I buy something, because it's just junk, it doesn't run, so maybe I can buy it for scrap and make it worth my time to be out here. A little bit of other odds in scrap iron out here, but I am not going to buy scrap iron. I'll leave that all up to my buddy Skyler. Although I do believe they have a way of loading it over there in the building. You always gotta look through piles like this because you just never know what's in the pile. Now look at that, a mama and her baby. That baby don't look too old, pretty small still. What you guys doing? Can I borrow some money? Oh, here they come, they're all gonna loan me money. That's good, I need some money. And this is why you always look. Now this time it didn't work out, that's just an aluminum radiator, but one time there was a pile of just miscellaneous iron like that, like this. And there was like five big three and four core copper radiators down underneath it all. And so I bought the whole pile for like 75 bucks. And those radiators were worth, you know, three, four hundred bucks. Well, the auction's about to start. There's quite a few people looking at them, so they may go pretty high. May not get anything today, but we'll see what happens. Hey, you bet. Lock your, uh, lock your steering wheel. Here we go. How about I'm right here on the steering wheel lock there. Who give a five, who get ten. Get five dollar, diggity, bum, bum, five dollar bed. Gotta be five dollar, got the key with it. I get about a two dollar down three. Biggity, big, bum, bum, four dollar, biggity, be four dollar bit. So, three dollars down there, oh, Tim. Man. Carburetor time and a good one. Here we go. I'm gonna know right here. I'm gonna hundred dollar. I got about a ten dollar, fifteen. I'm gonna bump ten dollar down fifteen. And fifteen, I'm gonna bump fifteen down twenty. Eight, twenty dollar down five and down thirty. I'm gonna bump thirty, I'm gonna bump thirty, I'm gonna thirty, I'm twenty seven and high. I can fix it. 27 and a half at 2750. I'm gonna down 2750. Gonna be 27 and a half. Last call gonna be 27 and a half. Sold them $25.150. Well, I don't know why I bought this carburetor, but I mean, 25 bucks for a brand new carburetor. It's for a mid 80s Nissan, is what it's off of. I figured, man, if I can at least triple or quadruple my money on that, I'm not doing anything right. And then this strap here, these are really handy for when you're wanting to pick something up that's soft, like a truck cab or something like that, that you would otherwise crush with a chain or a small strap. These are so wide that they put the, they, uh, they distribute the, the weight evenly across the whole thing. And so I can just put the forks in the holes like that and I can just pick a cab off, that sort of stuff. There was like five cars here when I got here this morning. Now this whole field's clear full. Ask yourself, here's the dandy guys. You got a ride here to the 50, 500. Hit him a 50, 500 dollar bill, number 50, 500 dollar bill, number two. Hit him a 200 dollar bill, number two, it's 2,500 dollar bill, number two, good to see you. Hit him a 200 dollar bill, number 15. Let's in, boys. Hit him a 15 on 17. Hit him a 15 on 17. You got it, help yourself. A thousand dollars, let's in. 
Now I've got to hurry up and wait because I ain't bidding on nothing else I want for quite a while. I bought the 56 and the 57. The 57 has a 348 in it. I already sold that engine. The 56 runs really good. It's got a good run of six cylinder in it, but the truck's just beat up all to pieces. So I'm just going to wall out the truck and sell the engine. I tried to buy the Cadillac, but he outbid me, and I could have got it for one more bid probably, but I just didn't want to do it. $350 for a rusty trailer. Watch your toes, Joe. They're going to start pushing buttons see what happens. Oh, my goodness. Get out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, turn it over. There it goes. There you go. Now you want it. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of fun, but I really don't need it. We'll see. Oh, my goodness. Get out. Here we go. 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 There you go, that's a really good deal on those, so I'm glad he got something. Four twenty-five, good tires, now half. Oh, 
four and a half. Are you sure? Nope, four and a quarter, his. four and a half, and a half. So, right here, four and a quarter. Take your ball. And thirty down and I got about twenty, thirty down and I got about thirty down and I got about about thirty. And twenty down and down, thirty down and I got about thirty down and bet. So, twenty bucks on one. Five zero. Two hundred ten dollar bag, about two hundred ten dollar bet. Last call. Dave, what do you think? Two ten, what about about two ten? So, two hundred dollars, one five zero. I bought this and I was going to cut it up. It's got a lot of cool wall art on it. Like those signs up there on the sides of the grain bin. It's got the rear, whatever this housing is back here. It's got embossed letters on it. The really cool font on cleaner. It's got a cool tank that I can make a junk lantern out of. A big radiator. It's got nice tires on it I could sell. But there's a guy wanting to buy it here at the sale and I won't have to haul it home. So uh, I'll probably just take a little bit of a profit and let him take it. I bought this round 10 back here off an old grain building. I don't know why I bought it. But I kind of had an idea in my head of something I could do out at the ranch when it cools down a little bit. That I could make something kind of cool out of that. In worst case scenario, I think three of these pieces go together to make one completely round piece. And I can use it for a trash pit. And this minivan, this is the deal of the day right here. It's got two $250 converters on it. It weighs almost two tons. So uh, yeah, we'll make quite a bit of money on that. So my dad will be happy about that. <laughs> Me borrowing his truck for a day, that'll pay for that. If I would have just bought those old trucks for myself and used his truck, so he, he might have given me some flack for that. But because I bought some scrap while I was here, he'll be happy now. That would be a hot job driving this whole thing up here with no cab on it. I can't imagine. And I bought the old feeder thingamajigger just for yard art, wall art, cut the sides off it, whatever. The only bad thing is, is it's kind of a small piece. I don't really know how I'm going to... I mean, I know I can just haul it home, but I hate to come all the way out here for just that. But I think I can get that and then those sheets of tin that I got over there all in one load. I could squeeze that tin in with one of the trucks or something like that if I had to, but since I got to come back for that thing anyway, might as well just save myself the headache and get it all together. I am just amazed at how clean the 57 cab is. You can definitely tell it was parked in the barn for most of its life. I just wish the doors weren't so beat up. This door isn't quite as bad. Well, it, it is up here. Both doors are completely mangled up at the front of the door, so I don't know. But the cab itself is definitely well worth saving. And what's really cool is both of these trucks actually have titles. I don't know why it is that the nastiest, ugliest cabs are the ones that have titles. <laughs> that 55 over there is just completely rotted out. I don't know if anybody will buy it or not. But because it has a title, I might be able to pedal it. I guess I'm going to go ahead and grab the truck and I'm going to load up one of the old trucks. Skyler's going to load up one of the other old trucks. We'll take those, dump those off. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and come back today and get that van and probably that other stuff. We'll see how late it gets. I may not be able to get everything, but uh, for sure I'm going to get one of the trucks and the van out of here. Big thanks to Morris Yoder Auctions for letting me film today. I know a lot of people get really antsy when someone pops out a camera and stands five feet away filming everything you say and do. Some people don't always like that, but they're really cool about it. And so definitely thank you to Morris and Titus. And I don't know all the other auctioneers' names, but thank you to those guys for letting me film. There we go, loaded up and ready to go. Okay, we got both of those trucks unloaded. Now we're gonna go back out there. I wanna get that van and Skyler's gonna get that rotary hoe and then he's gonna get that, that grain trailer thingamajigger and that tin for me. And that because he's going to take the rotary hoe home. And then the other stuff that he bought while he was out there, he's going to go back Monday and get that because it's all just scrap and he's going to haul it into the scrapyard. 104 degrees outside. It said 106 earlier, but it dropped down to 104 now. It is definitely cooking out there. That'll make life a little bit easier to load this other stuff. They said that that would be here available all day and we get back and there's nobody here. <laughs> a little bit worried. So I called the auctioneer and he says, oh, he should be there. But he was parked over in the shade waiting for somebody to get here. So he's going to go load some stuff. Yeah, Skyler's lucky he was here because I would have bought that if Skyler wouldn't have been here. That was a super good deal. $45 for that. There's about two, $300 worth of hose on there. Perfect. 
Looks like a wet noodle. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Perfect. Like I said, I mainly bought this just for that gleaner panel. It was 20 bucks. I couldn't turn it down for 20 bucks. While he loads that up, I'm gonna go over here and roll that tin down so he can stick that telehandler in there and grab it real quick. I didn't buy all this tin here. The other scrapper that was here bought all that. But uh, this is all poison ivy. Luckily, it doesn't bother me any. Because that would be a nightmare if it did bother me. But I'm gonna roll this kind of down this way so he should be able just to stick that telehandler in here and grab it. I cannot budge it. That is very heavy. So uh, I just took all that tin and threw it off to the side, get it out of the way. Then I think he can stick his forks in here, kind of go underneath it and flop it back over. Remember when I was talking about how you should always check these piles of junk because you never know what's hiding in them? Well, I, I didn't follow my own rules. And Skyler bought all this pile here for $15, and he thought he did pretty good anyway because there's these big chunks of I beam here. Thought he could make some money on those. There's some more iron down there. Well, we were looking just now, and underneath this tin is one of those old pumps. And it's in pretty good condition. It's got one little broken spot right there, but other than that, it's in really good condition. It's all here. It's been welded together a couple times, but still, I mean, that's that's probably a hundred dollar bill right there And he gave fifteen dollars and he'll still make a bunch of money on the scrap because he didn't even know that was there So I don't think anybody knew that was there There we go dig down in the dirt a little bit. It'll pop it right out of there There we go Perfect Perfect That'll work good. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that yet, but uh, I got some pretty good ideas for it, I think. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it might just go out to my place and sit in the dirt like it was here. That'll work right there. This will work good here. We'll get all this strapped down. Strap the trailer down. Strap those down. Get it all strapped down. Head back to the yard and get it all unloaded. Of course, I'm not going to unload the rotary hose. Skyler's taking that to his house. And we are done. Got that stuff unloaded pretty easy. Uh, brought my dad's truck back, dropped it off in his driveway. He'll never know it was gone. No, I, I told him it was gone. I told him I took it and I bought that van and all that, so that'll make him happy. I gotta say, normally when I go to an auction, the auction's usually still going or just now getting over. And then I have to work all night to get the stuff gone or come back the next week. This is probably the quickest I've ever gone to an auction, bought stuff that I actually bought stuff at. Now, sometimes I've gone to auctions and didn't buy anything while I was there because stuff went too high. But this is the first time I've gone, bought a bunch of stuff, and got it all hauled and got home by, I think it's about 5.30 right now. So I'm pretty proud of myself. That's, that's pretty cool. And I couldn't have done it without Skyler's help. I'm glad he helped. If it wasn't for him helping, I would be, I would just try to get it all done today. So I'd still be working for another hour at least, maybe hour and a half. But we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said earlier, if you do like my auction video, please give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I can't go to auctions all the time. Like next weekend, I'll be busy. The weekend after that, I've got something really, really, really cool going on. We're going to be making a cool video for you guys. Actually, two videos, maybe three videos. So I don't know what's going to happen there yet. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, maybe next month I can go to an auction or two if you guys enjoy this. But with that, I'm going to let y'all go. I am exhausted. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.